welcome back. Now, a row between two senior judges and uh, had turned into a public spat with the former Chief Justice Balakrishnan hitting back on the Raja judge controversy. Now, in a statement, he insists that the ex-Madras High Court judge, Justice H.R. Gokhale's report to him did not mention Raja as the minister who was trying to influence a judge. And to prove it, he has made the report from Justice Gokhale public. Now, Justice Gokhale had yesterday said that his report to Justice Balakrishnan had clearly mentioned Raja's name. Now, we were joined by, uh, by our executive editor, Sanjay Pinto, who helped us uh, break down the claims of the former CGI, Balakrishnan. Is it all of them actually speaking the truth, but the devil seems to lie in the presentation of facts. Look at it, if you analyze this carefully, the incident took place on the 12th of June last year. Justice Raghupati wrote a letter to the Chief Justice of the Madras High Court on the 2nd of July last year. That letter was forwarded by the Chief Justice of the Madras High Court on the 5th of July to the Chief Justice of India, was acknowledged on the 8th of August last year. This is the entire sequel of events. Now, Justice Balakrishnan, there are two documents basically. One is the letter written by Justice Raghupati, where he names uh, Union Minister, former Union Minister A. Raja as someone who tried to influence him. He did not say that he actually spoke to him, but that he was allegedly on the phone line waiting to influence him in that anticipatory bail uh, hearing uh, involving two of his close family friends. The other document is a report that was sent by Justice Gokhale to the Chief Justice of India. Also, in fact, the Chief Justice of India had asked, had forwarded a memorandum by various MPs across the country to the Prime Minister, which was forwarded to the Chief Justice. So, Justice uh, Balakrishnan is merely saying that the report did not mention, he's constantly harping on the report, which did not mention any Union Minister's name. The point here is that the report also contained that letter which was forwarded. And only in one place, in, this, in both these documents is the name of A. Raja mentioned and that is the letter. So it seems very confusing. It seems that uh, it's, it's a tug of war between a, a sitting judge of the Supreme Court and a former Chief Justice of India, but it all depends on how you actually read the facts. Also, Justice Balakrishnan, if I may actually turn the page and tell you, in his, uh, uh, his statement which is put up on the NHRC website says that, I am certain that in the report received from the Chief Justice of the Madras High Court, no name of the Union Minister was mentioned. Yes, that's correct, because it was not mentioned in the report. It was mentioned in the letter forwarded by Justice uh, uh, Gokhale to him. He also says that uh, Justice Raghupati, in fact, did not address any letter to me. That's also correct, because according to protocol, a, a judge of the High Court cannot directly address the Chief Justice of India. So no one is really lying. Both are speaking the truth. All sides are speaking the truth. It's just that the manner in which it is being projected. That was, of course, our executive editor, Sanjay Pinto, in conversation with our senior editor, Radhika Ayer, explaining to us the intricacies of that one case. Now, moving for forward, as uh, pharmaceutical industries are at the pinnacle of growth, and most of them pumping in hundreds of crores into research and development, they say that protecting their information and discovery is the need of the hour. They say that medicine they need is uh, patents, and they've taken this demand to the government. Let's have a look. From red to pink of health, from the deathbed to now a healthy heart and pocket. That's the success story of the Indian pharmaceutical industry. But the third largest exporter of pharma products is now feeling threatened by being stolen off its biggest asset, its composition. The pharma majors in the country hope to expand overseas, but not without the help of the government. When uh, we invent new drugs and the patent protection is what we are looking for, not only for the product but also for the polymorphs, for the isomers, for the method of use and uh, very detailed patenting strategy if we adopt and government uh, supports that, uh, I think knowledge will be protected and using that knowledge we can earn uh, dollars internationally. Almost all pharma majors have applied for patent protection. But then their applications are among the 70,000 applications waiting for process of examination. The industry is currently valued at 17 billion US dollars. The prediction is that it could grow three times more in five years. But the government doesn't seem as adventurous. The new drug policy by the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers is expected to be out in the next three months. And private pharma majors who have invested their profits into research for new drugs hope the policy has some vitamin pills for them. In Chennai, Pratiksha Ramkumar for NDTV Hindu. 
Now, the man from Kollywood, the one with the Midas touch, Sasi Kumar, joined us exclusively on NETV Hindu on the eve of the launch of his latest project, Isan. Catch him on the other side.